Okay, so Steve, looking back on Hope 08 now, what, what do we see as some of the great things that have happened? Oh, I, I think for, for me, Russ, the, um, well, when we started planning, thinking, praying, dreaming about Hope, we, we said, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could see Hope expressed in 500 locations across the UK? Well, in the end, we, we're pretty much close to 1,500 locations uh, where people have got involved in Hope. And that, you know, that, it means thousands upon thousands upon thousands of churches of all kinds of different shapes and sizes that have got involved in this thing called Hope. They've been doing it together. They've been doing it in world in action. They've done, been doing more than they would have done if they'd simply not got involved in Hope. So for me, it's been a real sense of privilege to have been caught up in this thing. And it feels like, it feels so much bigger than anything we could have possibly planned for. And so the privilege you've been part of it, the sense of God's involvement in it, and hear some of the stories. We've been hearing stories today as we've gathered to, to do an evaluation of what's happened. Some wonderful stories of the church doing the business of church, week in and week out, caring for their communities, and seeing people come to Christ. It's been wonderful. Okay, and, and a lot of them are saying it's not the end. We want all this to continue. Yeah, and, and we we're kind of we felt like God was asking us to do this in 2008, that we were a catalyst. In one sense, Hope as an organization doesn't matter because really it's about the church doing the business. And so the one thing that we're saying is it's not over, it's over to you. How about hope happening in your community, not just in 2008, 2009, 2010. Hey, let's just keep doing the business of being good news as well as talking good news.